too far off their goal line, but a nice find inside to Belolo, who's going to put it up. He's got two men downfield. Can they chase this one down? It's hanging. No, oh, beautiful D. Missing that disc on the ground. We've got Elliot Moore wearing the signature bandana around the neck. A nice upside down over the scrum to Jake Reinhardt. Dallas moves it around to the far side of the field and then just elects to put one up. Let's see if Joey Wiley can get the D. A little bit of a bump, but the Legion able to reel it in. Wow. Absolutely beautiful catch. Good looking spacing by the soul here. Everybody seems to be on the right page as far as where they need to be. Not a lot of multiple cuts to the same spot. Radak and Evans taking care of that disc in the handler space. Oh, and Radak looks off Evans for a, a, uh, a great decision to throw to Kyle Hankey. Just put it up in the air for that guy. Neither team is probably uh, very happy with, with the, the possession game that they're playing. Not as smooth as it could be out there. As we see Swy a little washed out on the <sighs> broadcast, but Swy able to get up, open, and over his defender for the score. It's Evan Swytek. I think if they go up top, they're going to have it all day. Now, whether they'll a they're able to be... Kayridge puts it up with time winding down, looking like 10 seconds now on the clock, and that one is all the way into the back of the end zone and caught for a Dallas score. A prime example right there of Austin playing way, giving him a good cushion of seven or eight yards there under. Foul on the throw. We see Richardson now with the disc again. Oh, oh Pollock with a big bid. But unable Watson to get there. Again, forcing that one there with the scuba. <laughs> Just a, an interesting throw choice and, and works out about the way you would have expected. <laughs> Just don't lie, two soul guys running free. Oliver Faye puts it up. And we'll get an easy score from Broadbeck. But they're going to be open because, again, the soul are playing so far underneath. Oh, and Hankey gets it. Nice D and just puts a big bladey flick over the top to Zach Slayton, I believe. Beautiful throw to all that wide open space on the far side. Excellent. An interesting choice of celebration from Slayton. Well, one minute left here in the second quarter. And you see Ben Lewis. Oh, puts it on the sideline and Jake Reinhardt. Kyle Hankey coming underneath for it. Looks like he's going to find a very open Swy who's just able to shake his man underneath. Radak looking for it. He's going to go for the end zone straight away. Able to find Slade and a beautiful hammer. But still leaves 17 seconds left on the game clock. Plenty of time for Dallas to put one up. We see Vinay Valsaraj. He got a score early, but haven't seen too much of him since then. Cutting downfield there, but they're going to go up top with it and look for Mark Evans, the Australian. One, Number one, able to, to oh, and giving high fives right away. The fans are stoked. Mark's stoked. He'll probably burn out on that Canadian winter. As Dallas puts one up. To a one-on-one -on -one match between Moore and it looks like Alex Brower, number 10, able to get position on Elliot Moore. It's one way to do it there. Run two guys deep and have. Kyle Hankey, a native Austinite, what uh, is increasingly being referred to as a unicorn in a city that won't stop growing, it seems like. Oh, and what? Beautiful a grab snag over from the top. Switek. The <laughs> oh. elevation. Just when you thought he was going to come down, he just hung up there, Stu. For a little bit, run down. This third quarter clock. Take the yards when you can get them. Elliot Moore, uh, a generous two steps after the throw, or after the catch, rather. And a huge OI. Oh, 
It's Oliver Fay, a great throw for Moore. Just not able to swing two passes downfield together. Uh, still able to work the disc a little bit for these short passes, but any time they're putting it upfield, it is a challenge. Rodbeck puts it up for Ethan Pollock, who Ethan has Pollock no problem shaking his 97. man. Obvious uh, exhaustion out there from both sides, it looks like. Tyler Reinhardt, number 34, doing a lot of legwork out there for Dallas as he puts one up to Drew Watson, who looks like he's going to get there. Watson is fresh as ever. <laughs> <Great run. laughs> Having a blast out there and running like a deer. Yep, yeah, hasn't slowed down at all despite the triple-digit heat. And Austin able to exploit it nonetheless. Radak now on the logo, square in the middle of the football field here. A lot of patience and able to find Slayton. Slayton and Radak. Oh, and a big Bendy OI flick to Evan Switek. Upper V, if you will, Stu. Back right corner of the end zone. Demoralizing point. Dallas defense was on. Look, quickly broken. Oh, but Orloff able to squeeze it through to Ben Lewis. And Watson again. Padding the stat sheet as he is still unguardable. Yeah, have Watson, one more score. An upside down scuba half field, maybe a fake push pass. I think we just got it. Oh, Slayton. All right, maybe a no look. Oh, there it is. Kyle Hankey, no problem there. There they are, the Stench Bros. Stinky Hinky. That's Belolo, Eric Carden guarding him. Belolo puts it up. What a throw and a tremendous grab from Drew Watson once again. Celebration's getting a little excessive, but he's having a good time. Or something like that. You get a man who's got 30 years of Austin Ultimate experience in the booth. Look around. He's got some fans here. A lot of memories. Matt Bramble in the fan, fan zone. Watson puts this one up as the buzzer goes off. It's not even going to get to the end zone, I don't believe. Oh, they try oh, and tip it in. Beautiful last yeah. second yeah. score by Dallas. They go crazy. Oh. They're going to give it to him, even though that looks like a pretty intentional Mac. And the disc gets launched into the stands. No love lost there by the old. Dallas squad, they're still pretty fired up about it. 